Hey guys, what's going on? This is a uh, some sort of demo scene intro. That could only mean one thing. We're gonna be playing Armor 64 game. Now, if you were paying attention to this crazy sliding back and forth Cyberpunk's logo, you probably already know what game it is. And if you're paying attention to my tweets, you probably already know what game it is. Oh, excuse me. Man. Woke up a little bit early today to watch the Canadian versus Sweden hockey game, and Canada did a pretty good job there. They, uh... Kept it in the Swedish zone for most of the game, we ended up uh, winning. I don't care all that much about hockey until it comes to Olympic hockey, then I then I want to win. Uh, especially over the Americans, mainly because I have a bunch of American relatives, and now I get to, to gloat about it for the next four years. Um, but I decided that we're going to celebrate Canada's good showing in this Winter Games by playing uh, Winter Games for the Commodore 64. This Winter Games takes place in Calgary, Alberta. If uh, this dance party ever ends, which it doesn't seem like it is, oh, it must be almost done. You know why that took so long to end? Uh, it's because the alien wanted his sweet tracks to be uh, be played all the way through. But anyways, this is Cyberpunk's presents um, Winter Games. It's actually by Epix, and it's taking place in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, if you do scroll all the way to the bottom, it does tell you that it takes place in Calgary, Ontario for some reason. Don't know why. We're going to hit no for this fast load. We're going to no to reset the scores, and you're going to see I played it a little bit. 1985 is when this game came out, and I've had a couple problems where the game has crashed during load screens. Um, let's see what world records we actually have right now. So, you can see I have uh, a record in the biathlon and the hot dog. Figure skating, I should be able to beat that record. We'll see about the ski jump and the speed skating. I don't think that I'll be able to, to beat that stuff, but let's go ahead and compete in all events. We're going to be Zerf. Oh, Zerg. Zerf all. We're going to play as Canada. And you're going to have to sit through the Canadian National Anthem quite a bit. But, luckily they only play the first two lines of any National Anthem that you choose. When I was a kid I used to always pick Epics to be from the country of Epics. Because I think I liked their music. But I'm not going to put a player two in because I don't want to have to play through every event twice. So, and no one wants to play with me. So it sounds like we're going to be winning every gold medal. Oh, and it's... It's enter after you enter your name, but then it's the controller button. Oh, and I skipped through that, but he comes in and he lights that up. Oh, I'll show it again at the end if we make it through to the end. I just want to try to get all these events recorded so that I can actually... All right. I've got a safe a safe bet move here that I remember from when I was a kid that will give us a pretty good score. It's a double front roll. Now if the... Ah, oh, it's tie for the... The highest I've gotten on that is something else, actually, but let's try this, and then that. Oh, too too slow. Let's try one of these other moves here. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Still, though, that double front flip is where it's at for high scores. Oh, I'm actually happy. I managed to land two successful jumps. Normally, I only get that double front, front flip, which is the easiest one to do. You hold forge on the controller until you're halfway through the second flip and let go. If you let go way too late, you're going to try for a third one and crash, but it's super easy to do. So here we go. Canada is up in the medal standings. Biathlon is up next. Now, biathlon, in case you don't know, is this cross-country skiing event, but then um, certain points during the course, you have to get to... Um, what's it called? Oh, I lost my momentum on that already. This is not good for a record. You have to shoot. Literally. I'm not saying shoot, I forget. We're probably almost there. Nope. One more of these. Let's see if we can't keep the momentum going. That was much better. 
It's kind of good to look at your speed gauge actually more than anything else because it kind of tells you when it was safe. Now you probably hear that tick tick. That's me. I actually have to... Oh crap. That was bad showing. You actually have to reload your gun too and everything. Alright, let's try to keep the momentum up this track again. Oh, I went too fast. Could have been worse though. This was one of the sports that I was never actually that good at as a kid. Not actually doing the sport, but in this game. This and figure skating are my two ones that I was bad at as a kid, and now as an adult, I'm still bad at this one, but I'm also terrible at um, the, oh man. It's my worst showing ever. I've got, I've already got freaking 25 seconds worth of penalties. Um, but yeah, when I was a kid, oh, see, I'm doing it again here now. I thought it was all about tapping back and forth quickly, but it's not. It's all about the speed, keeping your speed going properly, using the, using the momentum to help you as opposed to fighting the momentum to try to get your skis moving back and forth quickly. I don't know if I do this right, I might be able to, uh, there. I might be able to salvage this uh, event for myself. Is there one more? Yeah, there's five more shots to do. Man, that's my... Oh, this is not going to play out well for me. I do not have time for this. I have been taking too long in my shots. I've been taking too long in everything. Man, this is bad. I rushed through it to try to make it. If I had hit all those, I may have had a chance, but I didn't. And then I messed that up. And once you mess that up, there's no coming back from it. Oh well, you can't win a malls or fall. I can hear my heart pounding away in disappointment. Oh, this is actually... I didn't realize there was music to this, I always skipped through it as a kid. Well, loaded up, how'd we do? Three minutes. Not quite. Obviously in the Olympics they count way closer than just the seconds, but... What are you gonna do? We can try our best at figure skating is what we can do. But I am not good at it. Um, but yeah, when I was a kid, and I was so bad at that because I was just wiggling the controller as quickly as possible and not figuring out why it wasn't uh, going. There we go. Do we have to hit every type of jump? Maybe. When's when's the right time to jump going forward here? There we go. We're gonna land this. Yeah. Let's go into a bit of a top spin. Take it downtown. Stand back up. Yeah, okay, we're not doing so bad. Let's try for another jump here. All right, what else can we do? Does this do something? You know it does. About back, oh, about forwards and down. No, that's not the right time for that at all. Sorry about that, that was me kicking my mess out of the way. May have shown up. Oh, come on! Oh, I fell on her ass right at the end. I was trying to wait it out there. That did not work well. 2.0. Now last time this is where the game crashed, but no! Beat the old record of 0, 0.0! Go Canada! I score ever in figure skating. I do not know what I'm doing there. And if I recall on the long event, 
I didn't do nearly as bad. Maybe you're supposed to hit certain tricks in certain orders or something. I don't know what the deal is with figure skating, especially back then. Alright, we gotta try this though. Here we're going. No, no, get back together. Oh, no, 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 get it back together. Oh, so close. Style point zero. Huh. Alright, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. Back it up, back it up, back it up, right there. That's your spot. Oh, I was doing so well, too. All right, and whoop. Last one, last one. Bring it back together. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. No, you're not doing anything. Get it back together. Yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. Style points this time for sure. It still wasn't as good as going further, though, but at least I got the style points. Ah, that's the best I've done in that in a long time. I didn't beat, uh, Mr. Plate's record, but, uh, Mr. Plate. It's good enough to get gold in this Olympic Games, though, where Canada is the only member participating. Oh, now it's the speed skating. Now this I have to switch to my right hand on the control stick. And we're actually against the computer pacer, but now this is one too that when I was a kid I didn't really get the whole keep your your speed going steady thing going. So I would always end up, and I'm doing it anyways now. But if you don't time it right, you end up standing still. And if you try to go quickly, your guy just locks up and slides along really slowly. So we're getting a pretty good speed going here. Maybe we can beat Mister Plate. I think he had a record in this one too. That was a pretty bad pause there though. Yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going. Nice. Under 30 seconds. Beat the computer pacer by a whole second, two seconds almost. Two and a point one. Now, did, did they even show the high score for that one? Maybe I clicked through it by mistake. Oh well. Oh, I wonder if it would be cool to have. Well, I don't wonder, I know it would be. I know there's a few people that watch this channel that play Commodore 64. It'd be neat if they maybe did a video of Winter Games and challenge the scores I'm putting down here. I don't think there's a real easy way to net play Commodore 64 games. Oh, it's time for this two minute, the long track. All right, let's try to do better this time. Oh, right on the butt. Okay, stuck that landing. Stuck that landing. What's this thing do? I need another jump. Stuck that landing. Let's go into the spin. Let's just end that spin. Let's go for another jump. Let's go for just the low spin this time. I'm done that. Nice. All right, not so bad. Oh. Yep. All right, we're gonna go back to the spin. We're gonna switch it back to the bottom spin this time. Whoa, keep the momentum going. Oh! oh that's not a move you can do from that position. Let's just switch it up. Oh, man. There we go, that's when you're supposed to jump. I have no idea what the difference between some of these jumps are. We're just going to hit a bunch of jumps though. Go back into that spin. Bring it back down. Bring it back up. Close call there. Can we switch back around? Yep. Hit another jump. I have no idea what I'm doing. We'll see how my score reflects that. Trying to hit all the. That's not a jump you can do. Okay, so maybe if we keep going forwards, you can hit that jump. There we go. Oh, 
And we know that we don't want to just stop because she ends up falling on her butt for standing still for too long. Oh, there's obviously a way to end that. I don't know what it is. But we did way better than last time. Score is 3.0. That's way better than the 2.0 that we got. Obviously, if you give us enough, give us enough time on the ice, we're going to show you some magic. So yeah, I suppose if if anybody out there, and I think they know who they are, decide to play this game, I guess I've never had anyone do a video reply. But do a video reply to it where you show off how much better you are at this game than me. But I expect you to play it off memory and not a bunch of practice and reading up on the internet how to get sweet scores. It's now time for bobsled. Let's go, attempt number one. Gotta try to keep it in the right spot here. You don't want to flip. Oh, oh, went the wrong way. Shoot. Not good. All right, so far our record is 99 seconds. All right, and the other way. Here comes a big turn. Did you see that bridge go by? I wonder if this is actually mapped off the path that was used in the uh, Winter Games there. 2280. Okay, let's see if we can beat... I'm surprised they didn't have a you have to run quickly to start it up sort of thing. I also don't know how I'm supposed to get my speed up other than exiting the turns at the right time. Oh! oh not good. Two man bobsled is down. But you know what? 2280 is not a bad score for that. As far as I can tell. Having only played myself. And there you go. That's our final event. I'm surprised they don't have more events in this. I guess none of the games really had all that many events. This already took two discs. Or at least two sides of the same disc. Oh, who's going to come out on top for medal standings? Who's it going to be? Canada! Better hear that national anthem one more time. The last time I tried to record this before it crashed, we ended up with I couldn't hear the game sounds. And I got that fixed, which is important because I use it for whenever I'm multiplaying a game splitting the sound between uh, them talking and me. So I think that I may have fixed the problem where that goes away. So what we're going to do just to end this off is we're going to come down here. We're going to look at the world records. M-Plate did beat me in speed skating, but I've got every other record. Somehow that counted as beating his ski jump record, though, even though it wasn't as good. I don't know what's up with that. Um, and we're going to take a quick look at the opening ceremonies because this was meant to be at the beginning. And this is the exact same as the Summer Games one. They just replaced the uh, guy running up with a guy that's obviously chilly. He's wearing something a little safer for winter weather than a summer track suit. Off go the doves with their message of peace. And I'm pretty sure that's the whole opening ceremony right there. The doves just keep going by. Yep. So, anyways, I'm Zerfall. We've been playing Winter Games. And I guess I'll see you in two years when we play some Summer Games.